Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another 3D printing video. We haven't done one of these for a while and as you've all seen I've been doing quite a few bits and pieces on my Gunpla Builders World Cup entry. Uh, link to the playlist down below. I've uh, printed off, catted, designed, polished and cast a few parts on this project to the point where I'm able to airbrush metallics and create a almost mirror-esque uh, finish all using the very cheap upper mini airbrush that's um, at my disposal. It all started with the purchase of the 1100 Master Grade Cube LA kit, uh, this reference picture of the mass production version and a little bit of drawing and measuring with some digital calipers of the parts and what I need to produce. With the uh, SketchUp that I've uh, drawn on paper, everything was uh, loaded up on AutoCAD. I have access to this due to work, though programs such as SketchUp or my personal favourites Tinkercad would be able to do the same thing. This is the drawing in wire mesh mode where you can see the internals and outside. You can see that the existing part of the foot extrudes into the square hole and the round hole uh, which measures about 2 by 10 radius fits a rare earth magnet so it just snaps together perfectly. This was transferred to the 3D printing bed software and printed with uh, limited success. The model was printed with ABS PC on a medium setting, as fine as the extrusion nozzle can humanly go. Everything was uh, done on a raft and built up from there. The nozzle did run a bit hot, which uh, helps weld the parts together and leaves less of a Z-axis line. Uh, it did leave some scorch marks, not a big problem, though the very tip uh, did come out uh, pretty fucked up. Sadly, uh, this is the limitation of extrusion printing, um, especially on a cheaper printer. Not too bad, not good enough to sand and paint, but uh, with the current method I've been mixing milliput, two part epoxy putty, and thinly smoothing it all over the surface. Uh, the point was re-sculpted and uh, cut and sanded back using a series of knives, files and sandpaper. tools besides a hobby knife and a sand file to uh, get a flat edge, the range of sandpaper uh, most importantly started off very very coarse. Uh, this was either 40 to 60. I was able to remove a lot of material rapidly and cut back to the plastic where all the extrusion lines was hidden behind the very very hard putty. A hard putty is better to apply than a soft or liquid putty as the coarser sandpaper would shred that up all the way down to the base surface and you're back to the same fault or texture you started with. This way it came out significantly smoother and then I was able to work my way to 120, 250, 400, 1000 and 2000 grit sandpaper to a very very smooth finish. More softer putties such as squadron, Tamiya basic type or liquid putties were applied, primed with a very thick primer and then sanded back until we got it as smooth as we can tolerate it. At this stage I need to have multiple copies and to print out cover and putty and sand back is extremely time consuming and with the putty it's very very fragile I decided to cast it in resin and use two resin copies and just put up with any imperfections and air bubbles and whatnot the uh, problem with the plastic is being quite weak on the z-axis to have a tendency of uh, splitting moving and changing with uh, temperature resin is a lot more easier so what happened was I used a very quick method of uh, using a cup. I made a mold by placing the parts in it, adding a bit of a sprue, filled it up with uh, latex, lubricated it, more latex, removed the model and uh, cast the putty. Uh, resin, sorry. This method will be explained in a future video. There is a lot of tutorials on resin casting out there. 
once uh, my not so perfect casting was removed uh, this had a process of uh, being sanded to remove any release agent which I put there intentionally the air bubbles was covered up with uh, putty and then it went back to the process of sanding polishing using a very thick uh, primer out of a rattle can uh, mostly automotive circling what of the last of the imperfections putting that up and then sanding it again and then sanding it further to a higher polish with uh, higher grits of sandpaper uh, way into the thousands once the structure was ideal the under detail of the real cubelle feet were cut off glued underneath slightly painted up sanded up and a final coat of primer applied via airbrush thinly to look at how smooth and ideal the surface the chamfer and the detail is of the kit black high gloss lacquer paint was applied uh, this is the final check to see if the sheen is uh, nicely even and then proceeded to painting this pretty much concludes my current method of utilizing extrusion 3d printing in my modeling and trying to get a part to contour to an established polished injection molded model kit and the idea is to look at it and not be able to tell what's scratch built what's sculpted what's original kit and what's uh, 3d printed uh, blend it all together and by doing this for a couple of years i think i've uh, improved my skills a bit and as well as refined a uh, method that gets rid of uh, those faults pretty much the only thing that's different in this method besides a wider range of uh, sanding papers and uh, using a hard putty at the very very start it's uh, the same process it is very tedious it takes a very long time but if the shape is that unique and then you detail it further it can be quite rewarding if you're willing to go to that much work Thank you very much for watching as always, until next time, stay tuned for further content, have a look at uh, Facebook for regular up to date work in progress pics of uh, whatever I'm doing, references and another place where my videos are sent to, always have a look at the description section, got some interesting references, other links to other things that I do, if you leave any sort of comments on any of my social media in the form of a question, I'm very happy to uh, hear you out or address you. And uh, that's about it. Catch you guys next time.